Item Number SCP-3928 Object Class Keter Security Level 3 Special Containment Procedures Total containment is infeasible at this time due to the nature of SCP-3928 events. If an SCP-3928 event is confirmed to have occurred, episode amnestics will be deployed over 0.5 km radius of the incident. Footage or photographs of the event circulated online were removed by Foundation web crawlers. Description SCP-3928 is the tentative designation given to the series of events wherein random individuals are stabbed in the chest by swords in public venues, with hundreds or thousands of witnesses. Despite a large amount of potential eyewitnesses in all cases, witnesses are always turned away from the approximate origin location of the sword at the moment of appearance. The precise type of swords used have varied widely, with Indonesian Golocks, Japanese Katanas, Chinese Gin, and Hibirian Felkatas all having manifested. Swords collected from events appear to be entirely non-anomalous. An examination of victims' histories reveals that SCP-3928 appears to target those with a connection to firearms. What SCP-3928 considers a connection appears to be arbitrary or broad in scope. Thus, SCP-3928 events have occurred to those with the last names of arms companies or famous gun manufacturers, layers of shooter video games, those belonging to the technical crew of any of the Godfather films, or fans of the English punk rock band The Sex Pistols. 3928 Event Log Excerpts 13. Samantha Barn A single along to American singer Lana Del Rey's bartender note, except of lyrics, the poetry inside of me is warm like a gun, when she was killed by a bambridge sword. Note, an underlating bladed longsword effective at parrying enemy blades inside a friend's car during rush hour traffic. 23. Frederick Wilson, low-level accountant at Remington Arms Company, killed by the Roman Gladius. Note, a one-handed double-edged sword used primarily as a stabbing weapon, while at a company picnic. 28. Justin Iglesias, political activist and gun store owner, impaled by a European arming sword. Note, a one-handed sword averaging 0.95 meters in length. During a speech on the importance of an armed militia. 37. Lucy Carrington. Doctor at the Greater Utah Neurosurgery Research Center. Killed by Japanese World War II Shinkunto. Note. A saber similar to a katana, or though traditionally ceremonial, at work. 44. Anthony Hegel was discussing the Doom video game series with a co-worker, nearly decapitated by a Scottish Claymore. Note, a two-handed sword around 1.3 meters in length at a public park. 2. Maria Gonzalez from Lucia in A. Tardo. Subject, SCP-3928. Maria, I've been going over our records of SCP-3928 incident and noticed something interesting. The incidents appeared not to be random, but have been following a clear path. Our first recorded incident took place in the Netherlands, and then we had some in Belgium, Germany, France, and Portugal. After that is our first audible delay, taking place 14 days later on the first day of January in New York. I asked Carson to surveil if he could get me a record of every ship to arrive from Portugal in the last week of December. A cargo ship from Portugal arrived in New York Harbor on the 1st, just a few hours before our next incident of SCP-3928. I don't think it's a phenomena. It appears that someone is controlling this. I'm putting in an order for your team to be equipped with etheric examiners 
See if you can find anything on your next deployment. To Lucia, from Maria. Subject, RE, SCP-3928. Just got back from Salt Lake City. Got to the hospital about three to four hours after the incident. Didn't find anything with the etheric examiners. But John picked up something with his thermometer from his last deployment. A key for radiation. You were right. Looks like we got a god on our hands. To Maria from Lucia. Subject, Frick. Well, Frick, I think I know where it's going to go next. Oh, have you been to Comic Con? SCP-3928 Mobile Task Force Log Mission Abstract Finding and Containing SCP-3928-1 Mobile Task Force MTF Pi-1 City Slickers Begin Log So, what exactly is this supposed to be? I think it's from Game of Thrones, the uh, guy sleeps with his sister. Best we have fight guns, I guess. Wait, how do you guys not know who Jane Bacon Lannister is? Language rant is all going on transcripts. Uh, sorry, Captain. Uh, Rick guy's been living under a rock for the past eight years. Like, I know season seven and eight went that great. God, I could go on a tangent about that. Anyways, uh, let's try and focus on the mission, all right? Are we sure SCP-3928-1 is going to be here? Your thought's pretty liberal when it comes to gun laws. Uh, could have gone anywhere. Like a gun store for one. I don't think it's gonna think a piece of cardboard is a real firearm. You've seen the logs, right? It's ridiculous. It'll kill for anything. And remember, it always looks for an audience. There's over a hundred thousand people at this thing every year. It'll... Rick, yeah. A keeper levels are definitely out of whack. It's definitely here. Or was here recently. Uh, Alright, so it should be around here somewhere. Ah! Alright, that's us. Move out. This is part one. We're gonna need some aerosol amnestics fast if we want to keep this under wraps. Got it right here, Captain. Where is it? Right by the body. Don't think it knows we can see it. There? A little more to right. A little more... Yeah, fire away! Foul sorcerers! Today you meet your end at the hands of the finest warrior alive! Well, you can't be very good if we've never heard of you. Is that wise? I know what I'm doing. Sorry, who do you say you were again? Surely thou jest! Have I been gone for so many years that my face had been forgotten? No matter. If not my face endures, surely my deeds have. After all, who could possibly forget the goddess Centrodica, the painter of the sands? As in painting the sands with your blood, I am a war goddess after all? Oh, do the Netherlands even have sand? Well, we have beaches, so yes. But enough talk. You must die for your crimes against the art of honorable combat. Uh, could you excuse me for a moment? I forgot my weapon on my, uh, horse. What? Well, I assume we're going to be doomed to the death. I can't probably duel without my weapon. Wouldn't be, um, uh, honorable? Ah, of course. I would be a barbarian if I let you go unarmed. Here, take one of mine. No, that's all right. Got the, uh, grip just how I like it. Besides, won't be proper to just rely on other people's sword. Now, would it? Fly swift as a wind, my good lady. I'm looking forward to killing thee. Uh, likewise. Keep her busy. So, um, what exactly is a goddess doing at Comic-Con? I'm happy to inform you. But first, let me ask you a question. Looking at all the years of humanity's greatest wars and battles, what would you say is the most perfect weapon ever devised? I don't know, probably some kind of new cl I mean the sword? Exactly! The Saxons, the Greeks, even the heretical Romans recognized the true beauty of the sword. 
a cowardly archer may attempt to claim superiority at a further range, while a swordsman can feel the weight of the sword in his hand as it tears through skin and bone, an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Do you just quote a new hope? You know, you know what? Never mind. Think you were saying how you ended up here? Ah, uh, yes. Long ago, I was leading my people against Romans and their leader, Bellona, who challenged me to single combat to determine the fate of the battle. I stepped outside to duel when she crushed me with her siege weapons. Then she dropped a fortress on me, had to dig my way out of it. Never trust a Roman, you three. Oh, uh, we'll take your advice. But why exactly are you killing people two millennia later? Because the treacherous Roman cowards, these guns, as people call them, are completely dishonorable. Strength of arms matters little with them. A commoner can kill a seasoned warrior five times his equal with the press of a button. If no one else is correcting this behavior, I must. One coward at a time, starting with you three. Draw your weapons. I'm fine. Just had one more question. Why you saw it? Like, I get that you're honorable and all, but I'm sure it'd be easier another way. You are a goddess, after all. Sure, you could just explode us or something? What the hell are you doing? I, I don't have to answer to thee, thou sorcerer! Wait a minute. The fire said she's been tracing her way from the Netherlands to here. She took a boat across the Atlantic. Doesn't strike me as something an all-powerful goddess would do. So what, uh, she's not exactly a goddess? No, she definitely is one, that's for sure. But, uh, she seems to be on the lower scale of them. Sword manifestation, sure, that's technically reality bending, but nothing I haven't seen before. If I had guessed, I'd say she's probably a class C. Note, typically those only capable of small to intermediate changes in their immediate vicinity. See SCP-4166. If you three wish to die squabbling over my talents, so be it. I am still perfectly capable of killing all three of you. Never let it be said I did not offer you a chance at an honorable death. And what's this curious thing? Frick! Everyone get down! You know, swords are great and all, but I definitely prefer my Melkor. Well, it took you a while. You have to keep me, remember? I have to bash open the case. <sighs> Thou cheat! Hey, I said I was bringing my weapon. I didn't say what kind of weapon it was. Now, how does a nice comfy containment cell sound? And log, you have one pending revision to this file. Opening revisions. Item number, SCP-3928. Object class, Euclid. Security level 2. Special containment procedures. SCP-3928 is contained within a modified humanoid containment chamber designed to have an attic floor and equipped with a Class D Scranton Miati anchor. All objects brought into SCP-3928's containment chamber must not contain any ferromagnetic metals. Personnel bringing food or performing maintenance are to be equipped with personal thermometers. Description SCP-3928 is an other tier pluripotent entity known as Centrotica, a minor Germanic goddess of warfare worshipped in the Netherlands around the 2nd century CE. SCP-3928 possesses the ability to manifest any pre-modern tool that can be considered a combat weapon, but appears to have a pathological obsession with swords. SCP-3928 prefers to throw its weapons at its opponents above other combat scenarios. At will, SCP-3928 can become undetectable on the visible light spectrum for short periods of time. However, 
it is still viewable by thermal imaging and similar methods, and can be tracked by non-visual sensors and ambient aquifer radiation. While SCP-3928 is a capable melee combatant, firearms are extremely effective against it.